Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. Welcome back to the channel. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. That short little clip you just saw was me two plus years ago. Today, I want to talk about how hard the carnivore diet is. First off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Normally, I'm outside walking around the neighborhood recording my videos, but I don't know if you can hear the thunderstorm rolling through out there or not, but it's been storming here pretty much for 24 hours. So I decided to just sit down in front of the computer and record a video today. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. Thanks for stopping by. I would like everyone to help me out just a little bit. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and say hi, Bob. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All of these things help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I am 61 years old and doing things I couldn't do when I was 40, like all of my own yard work, working at the miniature golf course multiple days, doing all sorts of stuff. And that's all thanks to the carnivore diet. But the thing I hear most often is how hard it is to just eat a carnivore diet because you're missing out on all the breads and the pastas and all of the grains and all that kind of stuff. But I think, you know, and I've talked about this before, but I don't think that's that hard to just eat animal products, whether it be beef or pork or chicken or fish or and eggs, cheese, whatever it is that you like, that's not that hard. What's hard is being stuck every morning taking, as in my case, 13 drugs in the morning, nine at night, plus pain pills throughout the day. Hard is not being able to walk or in my case, just not being able to stand for more than a couple of minutes without severe pain. So what I think is that things are hard either way. We just have, we have to choose which hard we're going to take. You know, if we choose to do the hard of the carnivore diet, which I don't think is actually hard. I like eating just meat and eggs with water and salt, but some people find that very restrictive. Some people find that very hard. But something is going to be hard in our life. We get to choose most of the time which hard we're going to have. Are we going to have the hard of sticking to a carnivore diet? Or are we going to have a hard of all of the health problems that can stem from eating a standard Western diet? That's up to us to decide. Um, but yeah, this was just a quick little video today. As I said, you know, I usually have better thoughts when I'm out walking around the neighborhood. But I did want to go ahead and give you the final tally because we had the June walking challenge last month. I had everybody drop down in the comments and leave their steps. And I added it all up. As you can see, I've got a page full of numbers there and a page full of numbers there. and our total for the entire month of June as a channel, and this is just those that reported it, there may be others out there, but we got to 2,370,818 steps as a group. That's pretty doggone good, folks. I want to thank everybody for participating, and I want to thank everybody for their continued support. Hopefully the rains will finally move through and I can get back out to walking again for tomorrow's video. We'll see what happens. It's supposed to rain a great deal this week. I think there's been some tropical storm that pushed through and is now up into the center section of Nebraska, which is why we're getting all these storms. I don't know, but at least it's cooler. But this was just a quick little video to say hi and 
remind you that you get to choose your hard, whether it's the hard of sticking to a carnivore diet, which I personally don't think is that hard, or the hard of all of the problems that can come from eating a standard Western diet. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.